SQL has a union on function to combine several arrays into one table. But how can you do it in Google Sheets? Let's see. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gala Reports. On my website, you can find articles about Google Sheets and Looker Studio. Also, I have a template, a Looker Studio template store where you can find ready templates for marketing, page traffic, e-commerce, uh, organic traffic, some special reports like cohort analysis, RFM analysis, and so on. But let's come back to our Google Sheets. I already recorded a video a couple of years ago about this topic. You can find it on my YouTube channel. This is the title, and I can pause it for now because there I explain in more details uh, one option how to do it. Now we will talk about a bit different topic about different ways how to do it. So, uh, when you work with Looker Studio, it is for, it's a really common case that I had in practice. Uh, when I have one tab in Google Sheets with Google Ads data, uh, one tab with Facebook Ads data, and let's say TikTok data could be Microsoft, whatever. Uh, so we can pull this data to Google Sheets automatically using some connectors. Like you can see here, what do I use normally? I work a lot with Supermetrics and I work a lot with Windsor AI. If you are interested in, I can uh, find, I can give a link below this video to connectors. So with these tools, you can pull automatically data to different tabs in Google Sheets. But when you work in Looker Studio, you need to have you, you need one table where you will see your all cost for all platforms. I already prepared two options, and uh, let's start from the option that I used on a previous video that I already recorded and uh, this is using filter and len functions. Uh, let's observe this formula. Uh, it has um, bigger. so I can let's do this. Let's remove this. Uh, we have several options here. First we have field. So this is the first range. And what do we have here? We have filter. I say for filter, I say take a data range. In this case, I take this. Um, and uh, the benefit of this function that in here I use D7, but I can use just D. So, and uh, len, uh, so I can say that use all rows from the top. And this is important moment uh, when you have, when you pull data automatically to Google Sheets, you don't know how many rows you will have exactly. So it updates every day and every new day you have a new row. So that is why it is super nice to use this. And you use uh, len of the length uh, of uh, first column of your table. And uh, let's see what do we have, here. what will we have here. So this function take all these columns from A3 till the end and remove all uh, empty columns he from here. So this is a cool stuff from this function. And uh, so we, can, we don't need to select exact number of rows, we can use the whole tab. And with this len length function, uh, we can have exact num uh, we can have we can exclude uh, blank rows so that is why actually i use this function and i really like it uh, and uh, we use uh, we just add the same function for each data range so we do it for google ads do the same for facebook ads and the same for tiktok ads i made it for seven row till seventh row um, but as i show you on example one minute ago uh, you can use the whole tab so this is it this function 
uh, and it's here and I don't use titles and I use titles uh, because I, I don't use formal for titles, I just write them. And uh, in the end we have this nice table that we connect to Looker Studio and use as a parameter at platform and see total cost for all and total clicks for all pl ad platforms. And the second option is more native for Google Sheets. It is a v a v v stack formula. And here it works even easier. When we start to write this formula, you can select data range. So I say take this data range, then take this data range. I already have title, so I don't want to use it. And let's take this data range. And as you see, the result is the same. So we can use this formula or this formula. But let's see what happened. In my example uh, on the, that I show you in the beginning, this formula removes all empty rows from the data range and shows you only data, only rows with values. So this is cool. And in this VStack formula, uh, let's see if we add here. Uh, okay. Let's remove, I remove seven, so I use the whole, all rows. Mm, and, and so if I add information to the next row without any spaces, I will have it in my final data range. But if I add it here, Uh, I will have it here in a um, final table, but I missed here, I skipped here one row and we will see in our final table empty row. So maybe it is, uh, sometimes it is not the best option to have uh, empty rows. Um, to, so that you see that, yeah, you see it, it works, um, but uh, this formula keeps empty rows. And that is it. And that is a problem and that is the biggest difference between these two formulas because for example if we add here uh, and seven but in the second second data range I add um, 10 we will have three empty rows in between that is not what I want for example when I work with Looker Studio so I would like to say you next mm, so if you need to union uh, all if you need to combine two data ranges and if you know how many rows you will have in your data range in your yeah in your array you can use this tag formal because it is easier to use and it is native in google sheets if you don't know how many rows you will have i hardly recommend you to use this approach it is a bit more complicated but with this, uh, it will remove um, blank rows from your final table. I think this is the biggest difference. And as a bonus, let us observe uh, one more function. It is uh, stack, and here it is the same formula as uh, vertical stack, but we can use it. It is a horizontal. So you see, um, this is my Google, Facebook, and TikTok. So I use a free cost, um, yeah, maybe not D A B C. Yeah. So we can uh, combine costs from all three uh, pl data platforms in one table uh, using this formula. So maybe in some cases you will need this as well. Uh, but actually, I don't use it. What do I use in real practice? I use this one. But anyway, it is nice. So you can combine data ranges vertically and horizontally. Uh, data, in my case, I use the same tab, but it could be different two tabs. As you prefer. Um, but I think I answered to the question how to combine different ranges in Google Sheets. Um, two options. And uh, what is the difference between these two options? Yeah, <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, give a like to this video, leave a comment. I really like when you leave a comment. 
and uh, remember about my online store so maybe I already have some templates for Looker Studio that you're working on and you don't need to spend hours on that and you can just use my ready template and if you have more questions about formulas ask me and talk to you soon <laughs>